Boydy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's Mog and Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Detective Conan Chapter 1083. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I'm just on a non-stop high-speed struggle train heading into chaos. And, oh, maybe it is going to, like, faster by the second. I mean, we are hitting light speed. It fucking sucks. But if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kick it, feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, um, also I have to mention this, um, but I just caught up with Moriarty the Patriot. And if you have not read that manga, you should. It is freaking goddamn good. And um, as soon as next chapter comes out, I will be officially covering the Holy Trinity of um, mystery manga, which to me is Detective Conan, Ron Kamanahashi, Deranged Detective, and if you are not reading that manga, there's no excuse. All the chapters are available legally for free on Manga Plus, um, and uh, and Detective Conan. So I'm really happy about this. I really am. But anyways, um, so last chapter we started a murder mystery. Um, literally on the border. First of all, who builds a goddamn hotel on top of a borderline? Why? But here's the thing that's very interesting. So you have this dispute going on between the Gamma and Tokyo Metropolitan Police. But again, this is what gets very, very interesting is Yamamura is there. And so is um, uh, Takaaki uh, Morifushi. Yeah, Takaki Morifushi is there. And the thing is, is Yamamura has a relationship with, um, with, uh, with, um, Hiramitsu. And the thing is with Hiramitsu, for those of you that don't remember, is he was an undercover agent that, um, infiltrated the black organization with, um, the code name Scotch. So, we have this connection. It's going to be very interesting to see what we're going to get explored in this arc in terms of this relationship. But anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Memories of the Borderline. The unexpected connection between Yamamura and Hiramitsu emerges while solving the mystery of the body that uh, lay between um, Nagano and Gunma's border. All right, let's go. Uh, Tsukushima's intention for the strange visit position of um his body is hmm huh then you are the older brother of um morifushi yuramitsuka and you look very alike you know indeed why um let's see why the reason i was under the impression that you were him is because you have you and hirochan have identical eyes how do you know him oh um Yamamura talks about his memories of uh, Takaaki's younger brother. Hiramitsu Takaaki, Takaaki says that, well, before that, we were uh, we were friends when we were kids. While I was catching bugs in the mountains, we ran into each other at the border. Um, we soon became friends. Uh, did you know that both of us made a hideout together? I see you were friends with, with him while we were in Nagano, huh? While you were, um, we were there uh, when he was in first grade. Due to circumstances, we took uh, under the care of some of some of our relatives in Tokyo soon after. If that's the reason why he went missing, then he should have let me know, because I waited for him at the hideout for a long time. He never came back when I was waiting um, uh, waiting there with the common yaiba card he wanted. Aww. Um, Mentioning common yaiba... <laughs> Mentioning uh, Kamen Yaiba, how old are you? Hey, hey, there are people my age and older that like Kamen Yaiba. Don't hate. The first generation uh, with Kamen Yaiba is in, the, is in the middle of ours. He promised that I'll be a crime punisher um, when I was an adult. Is that why you decided to be a detective? Yes, because I'm attracted to female detectives at <laughs> shows. But yes, also that. Uh, Komei, wasn't your younger brother also a police officer? Yes. Huh? No way. Do you have his contact information or anything? No, I haven't um, been in touch with him since he quit being a police officer. 
He quit being a police officer. More than quit. Right. Um, well, then, if I get in contact with Hirochan again, I'll talk to him about you. Um, uh, that Michan with the surname uh, Yamamura said he wanted to see him. Oh, yeah, because uh, my name is Misao. It's in, um, uh, Katakana, it's Michan. Well, it was more than 20 years ago. I'm sure he doesn't remember me. So why didn't you just clarify that? Didn't Inspector Morifushi mention why earlier? What else do we know if, um, uh, take the border into consideration? Yes, I do. A long time ago, Hirochan with the same surname, uh, Morifushi, also said something along those lines. Uh, at the hideout that we both built, oh, at the hideout that we both built at the border of Gama and Nagano, Hirochan said it then. Keep the prefectural border in mind, don't you see? Oh my god. What did you know when he said that? Um, well, he pointed out the hideout and began to say it's Michan's house. Did you actually live in that rowdy place too? <laughs> it's mean. Rude. It's an old style building with a yard. Uh, it's a prefectural border that, uh, wait. It's a prefectural border, uh, that line of rocks in front of each other between the entrance and the exit up to the pillar? Yes, um, we ordered the rocks to, uh, a map of the border together, and we found, um, two faded signs that had, uh, entrance and exit written on them to add to the hideout. Man, that was so much fun. Yeah, I don't get why my brother said that it was your house. This time the body location was on the border too. If what I said made, um, made you sense something, then uh, maybe they do have something in common. This is very interesting. Okay, yeah, something just hit me. Um, Komei, don't bother. This guy is up, but... So was... No, something very much connected here. So, was the murder weapon uh, that killed Tsukushima can discover? Yeah, um, at least it's more the uh, more so the looks of it. More so the looks? Mm, the two that were found thrown together and the victim's blood stuck on, stuck on them were a bloody coat and a bloody sock. They must have uh, put something hard and heavy in the sock, um, turning in each strike to kill them. Oof. The murder weapon is known as a blackjack. Ooh, they weren't playing cards. I didn't know that was called a, I didn't know that was called a blackjack. Learn, I'm telling you. Learn something new. Every, first of all, you learn something new every day. And also, damn, manga is educating people. To, <laughs> you learn more from manga than you do from school. I mean, it looks like the culprit only took the object out of the sock. That still has, um, oh my god, it looks like the object... I can't fucking read this morning. I am sorry. The murder weapon is known as um, a blackjack. It looks like the culprit only took the object out of the sock that still hasn't been found yet, huh? Um, let's see. Yes, it wasn't found around um, or inside the hotel. Uh, the guest, guest rooms were searched as well. So a culprit who had nothing to do with the hotel took their hard and heavy object and vanished somewhere, eh? No. The culprit is probably one of those three. Oh? Did you come up with some... Uh, come up Oh my god, did you come up with that too, Kanan Kun? Yep, I had a feeling when I was watching the security footage earlier. If it's those three, the one who said they spent the night at this hotel together with the late uh, Tsukushima-san, the content creator friends, um, uh, Nakata Yumi-san, um, Hoshikawa Ky Kyoko-san, and Haniyama-san, those three? Yeah, though I don't believe any of them were in the in the footage. Rewind it before whoever did it get. Wait, rewind it before whoever did it gets there. Here we go. The middle-aged man that was killed, he's expecting somebody in the parking lot. However, he's looking at his watch. Look there. He's checking out the hotel window behind him. It's true. We can't see which room it is because he's just looking behind him. Surely you've looked at the footage many times before. I see. Maybe he was thinking, what, um, what are they doing because they haven't come out yet? And was looking at their room because they weren't ready yet. Yeah, and it looks like all three rooms were facing the parking lot. Kanchan, tell me if you noticed that too. No, um... Uh, no, I realized that now at the second time at the second time around. It appears that Conan Kun noticed that after looking at the security footage only once. Well, unlike unlike them, Conan pays attention to detail. Anyway, we need to see uh, those three people again. We'll need to discuss with the, um with him in detail. Yeah. Okay. Hey now, are you still? Hey now, are you still searching my room? Didn't you search it before? 
I thought you said that I don't have the um the hard and heavy object that killed Tsukushima Khan. This is again this is uh Nakata Yumi, age twenty eight content creator. Uh, is this the window where you spotted his corpse? What? Then it really is. You can see the entire parking lot. Um, gosh, Kunin Kun, uh, what the hell? This dumb Fred's screwing around. Hey, hey, he came here for a reason. It's because I wanted to know for sure um, that, uh, that whether the woman showed on the security camera screen is her or not. Huh? You said a woman was shown? But where at? Just, uh, just a little bit ago, I stealthily recorded the footage on my phone. Just when the culprit escapes, the curtain op curtains open up in this room. And someone looks, ah, that's her. And someone looks out. So there is, so this becomes an alibi. It does, doesn't it? You're a very kind sweetie for doing this. Well, the whole point of being here is done. Oh, jeez, sorry. Um, if we're not done here, isn't it too, uh, too soon to leave? Hey, what about that photo? So, this is a picture from last month when we, we all went to a hot spring. I'm at the far right. Kyoko is in the middle, and back there are Tsukushima-kun and Hanayama-kun. Who's that girl between you and Kyoko-san? She's, uh, Chisu-san. Hanayama-kun and Kyoko-chan uh, know her as well. Why don't you ask them about her? Yeah, that's, uh, Yuba Chisu-san. Um, she's the girl we rescued five years ago. Um... Oh my god, she's the girl we rescued five years ago from a car going off a cliff. Was this by chance, any chance the miraculous rescue drama, which was a hot topic on the internet? Yes, it was. Ever since then, Yumi, um, Tsukushima-kun, and hanayama -kun and me streamed videos under the channel name In Inexpressible Reflection. And that's, um, Hoshikawa Kyoko, age 27, content creator. Let's see. If I'm not mistaken, you guys, pa uh, happened to pass by that, um passed by a car that was going over a cliff caused by a driving by a driving error. I remember that immediately after the daughter was rescued, the car fell down, killing the mother who was still in the car. <gasps> That's correct, but now Jesus chan and us have become good friends. Last week we even had plans um to have a birthday party. Um birthday party for her at Tsukushima Ken's apartment, but Soon after we left to go shopping without her, she was found collapsed by the stairs of the apartment building she was waiting at. She's in a coma at the hospital now, but we don't know why she was coming downstairs. We might That might have been um, murderous intent if she was pushed down. Oh no! Hey, even that incident happened, uh, when that incident happened, your room was dark. What were you doing? Um, a virtual meeting. Wait a minute. The room was dark, and she was doing a virtual meeting. Six of my fellow content creators, uh, creator friends, and I gathered um, through our monitors, and we had to, and we had a meeting. I blocked out the room because I love to have a ring light on. Okay, a r wait a minute. Wouldn't you be able to see a light even if the room was dark? A ring light? Um, that's what uh. That's what's on the table over here. Um, Yumi and uh, Hanayama can also have one too. Wow! Oh my goodness! It changes me when it's uh, when it lights up. It's it's divine. Um, yeah, you're uh, more beautiful than ever. Do you believe that? You don't get it, do you, old man? Even though you're a guy, you have <laughs> you have one. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Almost all content creators do, since we're trying to make ourselves look nice. A ring light. I'm too poor to. I, I, I can't even afford my rent. What makes you think I have a ring light? Even if you were watching television at the time of the murder or not, yeah, um, on here I was. What kind of show did you watch for that matter? Well, what do you mean, what kind? I don't want to say it. Is that okay? Is that okay, dude? He was watching porn. So you don't have any proof, do you? Um, somebody can prove it. That's right, uh, because I called room service for curry. I spoke through the door to the worker who brought it to me around at around 11 p.m. I said, leave it at the door right now because I'm in the middle of something. I see you were watching an adult show. Mm-hmm. Kogoro knows. Kogoro knows. Um, just when you were beating uh, off, you reflexively shouted to make him go away, right? I understand. You do? <laughs> yes, he does. Dude, anyone would understand. Um, back to the subject of, uh, Yuba, of Yuba chisa -san, uh, who fell down the stairs of Tsukushima-san's apartment building. Oh, yes, do you have any idea the reason why? 
I don't know either, but Tsukushima-san was, was acting strangely after it happened. I think he might have known something we didn't. Ah, um, this one's it. Uh, why do you have two phones? To separate my personal and professional life? Obviously. Um, there was no choice but for me to have two. Hello? It was the wrong number for a soba order. Speaking of soba... Hmm. As I thought, sh um... Wait, Shenshu soba's the best. No, no, come on. This one's, um, Jushu, so uh, Jushu ramen. Good will comparing the taste of them do. It's our lunch because we blew it off earlier. But ultimately, the murder weapon is still missing. Nakawa-san had, um, had a sewing set. Hoshikawa-san had a box cutter. And... Hanayama-san had large scissors, however, none of them can be used as a blackjack. Ah, yeah, we already know what object was used. The only mystery that remains is the border. What? Hmm. That's true. Ah, I'm so full. Uh, lazy soba. Um, it's that, his portion. Or, uh, sorry, it's that, his position, huh? The corpse of Tsukushima-san, his necktie and, and belt were loosened. He was in a position like that, so, um, of, oh my god. He was in a position, um, like that of being so full from overeating. If I remember correctly, his body had, um, open legs like a crab, a uh, crab's front claws, and his mouth was wide open, right? Was he wearing boots or something? He said, he, or, oh my god, he had, uh, some black boots on. Okay, then your childhood friend Hirochan, when he said, uh, the hideout was Michan's house, maybe the hideout's, um, entrance time, um, wasn't in, wasn't in place correct. Uh, oh my god, let me read this again. When you said the hideout was uh, Michan's house, maybe the hideout's entrance sign wasn't in place correctly. Wasn't in place? Oh, yeah. Uh, the nail on the left side of the sign broke off and it dingled down. It dingled when um, the... Uh, oh, my God. When the... Oh, when... When the square... Uh, okay. When the square character on top... Uh, with, oh, my God. I'm reading this wrong. It dangled with the square character on top. Well, the square character was also, was so faded that it um, almost looked like the katana... Um, katakana. Um, it just says square on here. I'm reading what is on this page. You are dealing with this. Period. I see. That's exactly it. You're... Um, oh, my God. You're most knowledgeable when you hear many words, but you cannot listen to any... <laughs> But you cannot listen to only biased words without uh, without this information. I would have narrowly missed the message. Um, it says here on the translation note you um, for the squares and shit. Translation note when read upside down and adding the border into it, entrance sign says Misao and his um uh what does it say? His dying message sp uh, spells out uh, Nakata Yumi and Kanji. When you add that, he was showing the border together. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. The memory led to a fact. Many words. What do you say? Rather than Liu Bei uh, coming up with his own strategy on his own to advance, his advisor Ma, um, Ma Liang advised him to listen to Kong, uh, Kong Ming's point of view for the strategy, which means that you can't make the right decision on, on only biased information. Huh? Amazing. Fortunately, Ranchan is, is there to make it clear. Um... It seems like the victim uh, called the culprit by name by uh, utilizing his obscure corpse. Dude, we're gonna get... So, to be continued in um, double, uh, double New Year's issue four through five. I like this. I, I really do like this for multiple reasons. One, I like that we're using the connection that, um, that, uh, that Yamamura and um in Haramitsu I really like that those memories are really coming into play I do I like that a lot the other thing I really like is this underlying theme about biased information that when it comes to situations especially cases that you can't be biased um it, that you have to wait for you have to utilize all the information that you can get before you know coming up coming to you know conclusions and shit like that um before you can really find the answer and i really do like that um i want to go back to what that said because I, I really find this this panel is very very or this line in particular is very important to me where is this um where is this 
this this line here is from from ran it's just everything which means that you can't um, make the right decision on only biased information ba facts 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 you can't make the right decision on only biased information it's freaking true you can't you can't you can't make the right decision on biased information no no you can't you have to look at everything from multiple points of view at least that's what I do is and this is the problem with people with people now nowadays and I really love the timing of, of this chapter the timing of this chapter is everything it is because you have to be able and this is important in regards to um to any type of case it is you have to look at facts from from both sides of the story or from every side of the story um before you can come up to your own conclusion um and it's got to be from credible obviously from credible sources and once you look at, you have to de obviously determine what is credible and what is not. If you didn't learn what a credible source was in, well, for me, I think I first learned what a credible source was in middle school, even. I know I definitely learned it in high school when I started writing research papers, but I think I even learned it in middle school. But yeah, you know what a, cre a credible, re uh, you should know what a credible source is. But even if you don't know what a credible source is, you have to like search through the bullshit read the all the information and come to your own conclusions you do and it's hard to do that it really is but it, like when it comes to the court of law you have to look at it from multiple points of view and people and right now people are just jumping to conclusions based on shit that fits their well, especially here in the states that fits their own agenda and it's really driving me fucking nuts and I can't stand it I can't goddamn stand it I got freaking attacked because I said that I'm waiting for all the facts to come out for a cert for um for the Zach Stacy case I'm waiting for all the facts to come out because as much as that horrible that video is I want to see what events led to it what events led to it who was the aggressor who was the aggress um who um and why if there was um, an aggressor in the situation that led to a retaliation or it was just aggressive um, aggressiveness like what caused everything um, and then you know with the with some of the recent um, school shootings I mean everyone's focused on one thing because agenda 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 when they're not talking about the bigger picture which is um, all the events leading up to it like what caused this person what pushed this person to this point where they felt like the need to do it but to, to or need to take another life like that like what caused it was it was it gang violence was it bullying what was it and no one is talking about it and that and there's and it just drives me goddamn nuts. I can't stand it. And the thing is, is because, um, and I like this right here, the memory led to a fact because people weren't taking, um, uh, they refused to take Yamamura seriously. Like most of them weren't taking Yamamura seriously, but it turns out that memory from being on the border with, um, with Hiramitsu ended up paying off it ended up being relevant to this case and it's just like little things like this are so important um, that you got to put when it comes to cases when it comes to whether it's mysteries um, whether it comes to like court cases whether it comes to um, whether it comes to uh, um, laws whatever whether it comes to life whether it comes to um, uh, medical whether it comes to science but you know what I mean you got to look at it from multiple points of view you can't just be stuck in an echo chamber you can't if you're stuck in an echo chamber you're you're just gonna be stuck as a sheep you're not gonna grow as a person 
No, you're going to be stuck in this block and you're going to be led to slaughter. And I really like the lesson from this chapter that you're taking something from your, especially this, taking something from the past and applying it here. And that something from the past is relevant to especially this case. I just think it's very important. But anyway, that's my, that's my thing um, from the underlying theme. I really love this so much for that reason. But anyways, um, uh, ooh, I do want to point this out from the translator notes because this is very important. I'm glad I'm looking at the translator notes. So it says here that the upside down, the entrance sign spells misao in uh, katakana. Um, but when it's read upside down, it spells misao. And this dying message spells out um, nakata yumi in, in kanji. This is very interesting. That's very interesting. Wow. So the sign that they used, that entrance sign that they used, um, that Misao and um, Hiramitsu used, ended up spelling, you know, the person that was murdered. Or no, the person that, hold on a second, let me just make sure I'm right here. Ended up spelling the person that is the murderer, which is Nakata Yumi. Dude, this is so brilliant. This is brilliant. You gotta love it. That a simple entrance sign that was used from, you know, a fort um, was used to reveal, was used as a dying message to reveal who the killer was. And it's, and I gotta bring up Ron Komonohashi for a second because um, the most recent case was um, we had something very similar in terms of revealing who the murder was with the gardener, how the gardener revealed who um, that uh, I'm sorry I'm swallowing it. Tiger Dawn was the um, was the killer with like simple flowers. It was just bomb. This is so fucking nuts. It was nuts. Just remembering this entrance sign. Just, uh, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. So it's going to be interesting to see what Yumi has to say for herself. Because it looked like she had an alibi, right? Because of that shadow. But, hmm. Did she use, maybe she, you know what she probably did? She probably used the ring light, right? She had to have used the ring light. That would make the most sense, right? She had to use the ring light. That's the only thing that I can think of that would make the most sense. I'm very curious what you guys think. Um, I know this video got long, but holy shit, there's just a lot to talk about here. Because the, so the sign makes sense. I'm, thank you, translator. Translators, I got to give you guys a major shout out for the translator notes this week. The translator notes really, really, really helped. And also, you guys have really goddamn improved with your proofreading. Thank you. Thank you for improving um, the translations themselves. Because remember, they were on the struggle. They were on the high speed struggle train, the translations. So the, the grammar is a lot better. Thank you. Thank you for doing simple proofreading. I really appreciate it. <laughs> but anyways, I'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. What do you guys think of the connection that we have here to like a simple memory, be, a random memory like this? Well, it's not random because of, you know, um, because of uh, how relevant it is in multiple ways, but what do you think about this? I really like this. I think this is such brilliant writing and I'm not going to lie. It just, as I said, with, in regards to, I mentioned Ron Kamonohashi, this just makes me think of Ron Kamonohashi's um, most recent case in several ways, because it was, um, very, it was very similar to Ron Kamonohashi's um, uh, re most recent case. It really goddamn was. Holy shit, it really was.
oh my god it really was just a little bit different though I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Games Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive and kick it so I can keep bringing you more um, Detective Conan content. There's a few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.